Today we want to introduce you to our microbial fuel cells, which were built to capture power from microscopic organisms. The fuel cell is made up of two parts, the anode and the cathode, both which are made of carbon cloth. The anode is buried in the sediment where we have anaerobic conditions or the absence of oxygen. So instead of using oxygen, the microbes use organic matter as a food source. And as they oxidize the organic matter, it releases electrons. When we attach a cathode, it creates a difference in electric potential. We can harness that flow of electrons and use it to power an LED light, a sensor, or other equipment. So here is the fuel cell. You can see a wire attached to the anode, which you can't see because it's buried in the sediment. You can see another wire attached to the cathode, which is floating in the stream. Electricity is captured and sent to a jumper, and then to a capacitor, which accumulates electricity, and then sends it to this board. From there, we can attach whatever it is that we want to power. In this case, we're using the electricity to power a number of LED lights on our Christmas tree. As long as the water in the indoor stream is flowing and we have an input of organic matter, this tree can run forever. We've also used the same concept to build a portable fuel cell tree with a small amount of sediment in a container. And this tree can run as long as the, uh, there's still food source left. So this is the microbes of the Stroud Water Research Center, wishing you a happy holiday.